He was a little quirky. He was a little temperamental. He was an amazing genius. And you always knew where he stood. If I can be half that authentic, I, I'm a success. When I think of Horst Reckelbacher, the three words that come to mind, first of all, passion, um, amazing passion, authenticity. He was always more than you ever expected and drive. You know, he took an environmental goal that was not part of the beauty industry, and even when people thought he was crazy, he stuck to his guns. Three words when I think of Horst are visionary, uh, compassion, and sustainability. When I think of Horst, and three words that would come to mind would be innovative, avant-garde, and determined. I'd have to say he was a consistent student. He was a mentor for so many and held up so many and gave them an opportunity and then with that just was a total visionary and allowing that just to bloom and flower and become just the the most amazing thing that it is which is Aveda. I when I think of Horst I think he's a visionary first and foremost um, he is he, he's the most amazing visionary I've ever met in that he's always 20 years ahead of where um, the trend and where society is. I think that the biggest impact that Horst made on the beauty industry was giving um, people that love this industry a choice. My mother's been a hairdresser since 1966. Um, she, she didn't have a choice. I mean, she couldn't get health insurance because it was such a toxic industry. Um, it was beautiful people made at the price of their health others' health and the environment. And he showed people that, you know what, if beauty is as beauty does, if you can make an impact that's good, if you can make beauty that doesn't hurt, it only elevates, then that's the best way to do it. It's not just beauty for money's sake. What's exciting for me to see is there are so many other companies now who are doing what he started two years ago, is caring enough to make change. He wanted people to be professionals and to have long careers. And so with that vision, he wanted people to work 30 years in the salon and to be true professionals. And so if they were sick because they worked with dangerous chemicals as a part of the products um, and became sick, that was really something that he wanted to change. And so he created products that were safe for stylists to use and um, created them in 1978 and began that vision in 1978. And if you think about it, um, really it was almost 30 years ahead of his time because it wasn't until the early 2000s that really that consciousness and that movement started to grab hold. And everybody else, in the, particularly in the beauty industry, was me too. I want to be environmental. Um, and Horst was there 30 years before everybody else. Horst always put himself in a position of learning. He, had a curiosity. He never wanted to think he knew everything. And it was that that allowed him for us to look at him and be a true mentor. Because he really helped all of us by teaching and showing us everything that he was constantly learning. Yeah, I think Horst um, was a lifelong learner. And he made that very clear the first time I met him um, because he was uh, speaking about um, organic sourcing and organic materials. Um, and he was super educated about the subject matter. And yet, this was at a hair show. Biggest impact would be uh, the sourcing of natural ingredients to use in hair products and hair color. Um, before that, all companies, I think, were using pretty much man-made silicones and petroleums to do that kind of stuff. Sometimes change is small, sometimes change is big. But the object that Horst always did was make sure that you do whatever amount of change you could at the time you're able to do it. I've been in the Aveda industry since 1998. I was a junior in high school working at Aveda Salon and I've been in the Aveda company since then and um, it's just been everything that I've done ever since then. I've worked in Aveda salons and I've taught and I've um, 
done hair behind the chair and he's inspired every second of my career for the past 12 years. So I couldn't do anything else. He didn't just see hairdressers. He didn't just see fashion. He saw a lifestyle where we as hairdressers could just inspire people to feel great about themselves. He took in that turn making us as hairdressers feel like we weren't just the typical beauty school dropout kind of category as most people think. We were actually true professionals. We were a little bit more than the standard of how people saw our industry. So he literally turned our whole industry around and took it not just to environment but to lifestyle to making people feel really amazing about who they were, which in turn makes us feel amazing about who we are and what we do. So he just really elevated our industry so high that people saw hairdressers as not just somebody who did their hair, but as just leaders for them to look to to make sure that they could look and feel the best of who they were as a person. He focused on the professional and making the beauty industry professional. Um, and that it was a career, and that it was a, a lifestyle, and that somebody could do extremely well and, and make a life of being a hairdresser. And he celebrated being a hairdresser. Because he really saw more hair more than just hair. He saw it as a lifestyle. He saw it as an opportunity to impact and change lives. And that's really what he did and that's what he showed us. It's not about the little things that we do every day, but it's about the bigger impact of keeping everything sustainable and giving back and nurturing and loving everything that we do. So reminding us every day that it's not about, it's not about us. Horse inspired me personally uh, in the sense that I was really lucky because when I entered beauty school, I entered the original Horst Institute and he actually lived in the school so I had the greatest opportunities where as a student he was checking my haircuts so even as a student I was able to participate in shows that he was doing and he took the time with us to show us how to do what he learned when he was a student so it was pretty amazing because at this stage in my life I'm able to do the exact same thing it's it's pretty simple it's continuing to provide students with the best education, the best opportunity um, for growth, both personally and professionally, um, and to provide them the best environment in which to do it. Because I think it's those little bits of change that we do that Horst taught us many, many years ago. We keep pushing and we keep pushing pretty soon. Not only did we go past the goal line, but we can set new goal lines and even go further than we thought we ever could. I try to live the mission to the best of my ability every day. Um, the way that I will continue to live his mission is with one word from the mission, which is strive. Strive is energy, strive isn't easy, and it means you don't always get it right. But own that you didn't get it right and try to make it better next time. If I could say one thing to Horace, I would say thank you for everything. I would say uh, I know you're in a better place, um, and um, Thank you for um, letting me be part of your family. I was fortunate enough to say to him before he passed was just thank you because it was an honor.